Hi guys, welcome back to another fly time video all about fishing with Marcus, and today we're going to be tying a grasshopper fly. So in the vise, we have a size 12 dry fly hook, and for this video, we are going to be needing some thread. I'm going to be using black. Um, you're going to need some foam, so to decide your size foam, you want it about half a centimeter hanging off each side front and back of the hook and then you want to be about a centimeter thick so that's your measurements there then you we're going to be needing some rubber legs poly yarn and some dubbing okay so for dubbing though you can use red brown or green it's your choice to just match it to the foam color you decide to use okay so attach your hook I mean, <laughs> attach your string onto your hook and wrap it back to the curve where it's back to the curve of the hook. I'm sorry. I'm just losing my words today. Okay. So next we're going to take our foam, position it. So once again, like, so there's like a centimeter or so hanging off the front and the back. Just going to go and start tying that on. It's going to be kind of crooked when you first get on. Start making loose wraps. And then you're just going to slowly start tightening it down. And making a good little sized space back there. Where you're tying that on. Once that's nice and tight, you're just going to turn that other piece over. Go a few more wraps. And then we're going to be need some of our rubber legs. So you can go ahead, trim one off. So for every one of these, you can usually go and probably need two of the sides, like rubber legs when you buy them like this. Um, so you're gonna go and you can just cut that right in half. So snip it in half. <laughs> Gray, I just dropped it. Let's get another one. Okay, we're just gonna take it. Clip it off. There we have it. One, snip it in half. We're gonna take our first half, put it right over where that we made that space. We're gonna go and just start kind of tightening it down, tying it on in there. There, so it kind of sticks off on that side. Let's see. I'd say those are on pretty well. And then you want to go and do the same thing for the other side. Make sure they get on the right side. Uh, let's see. This can be a little bit tricky. Getting these on right. The other ones. Okay. Go start wrapping that on. Hopefully you're not having as much trouble getting your legs to stay on as I am, but. Okay, there. I caught it. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that side on. Tie them on in. Okay. Once those are tied in there, we are going to go and we're going to need some of some poly yarn. Okay, so it's you have some poly yarn. We're going to take it and we're going to have it hang off a uh, good two centimeters. So it hangs off to about the back of where that foam ends. Go ahead and just tie that on down. Here we go. Get it on nice and tight so it doesn't pull out when a fish grabs it. And go ahead. 
trim off the rest of that poly yarn. Okay, then we're going to need some of our dubbing. I'm going to be using the burgundy reddish color. Just for some reason, the trout like that color here where I live. You can also catch smallmouth bass turn stuff on these. Okay, just put like two wraps of that. We're going to go ahead and pull our foam back like so. Put a few wraps up front there. Hopefully that kind of stays somewhat standing up. Then we're going to get more dubbing. Start putting that some on. Just going to go and start creating a little space here. We're going to start about half centimeter. So like three eyes worth behind the eye. Let's add just a touch more dubbing. Let's go. We're going to, just like in the back, we're just going to tie down that dubbing. Dubbing, I mean the foam, right at the end of that, where that dubbing ends. Nice and tight. Have position that the head of will be our grasshopper where you want it. Just tight down nice and tight. Create a small space. Okay, then we're going to get some more of our rubber legs. Once again, trim one off and cut it in half. First one going on. Just hold them on the side. Do you want them? And put like two wraps. You can kind of reposition them by pulling on them, moving them a little bit. Then you go and tie them down nice and tight so they don't get pulled out. Then we're going to take our other leg, just tie that guy on, okay, nice and tight. Okay, next we're going to take some more of our poly yarn. This piece is going to be longer. You want to hang up, hang just like off the back of the edge of the fly, kind of where your last piece end, ended. And this creates the wing of your grasshopper. And also helps, makes it a lot more visible. It's on the water. Go ahead, trim that off. Then you go pull this part back. It doesn't look like I have enough room to tie off there. So I'm just gonna go right back up there. And I'm going to put on my dubbing, just a pinch. Actually, I need a bit more than a pinch. Put that on. Wrap it on. In there. Then I'm going to go, and since I don't have quite enough room right behind the eye, I'm going to have to go over these legs and just put my knot right on top of where I put that dubbing. It's like two of them. Some half hitches, or you can pull out the whip finisher. I caught one of those legs. 
So I'm just going to pull that out. Okay. So then we're going to go to the back of our fly. There's that giant thing that looks kind of like the head of our fly. And we're going to cut off the corners, give it a tapered look. Like so. I'm actually going to trim mine a little bit shorter. And we can just trim off our thread. And here we have it, our finished fly uh, grasshopper, foam grasshopper. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell. See you next time.